All righty, all righty, all righty. Maybe get a few more minutes, let some more people join in. Um, Stephen, are you on here? Or are you just letting me roll with this thing? Hey, it's uh, it's me, Chandler. It's it's all yours, my man. All right, cool, buddy. Thanks. No problem. All right, guys. Um, well, thanks for joining. Uh, Stephen Davies had asked me to do a uh, a dial session, a live dial session, where y'all can um, tune in and listen to me setting appointments. Um, so I've got a stack full of leads. First things first. I've got my handy dandy activity book. I track my dials and my progress. And then I've got my appointment book that I, I keep separate. So I keep it all organized. Uh, there's a few people on here. There's probably going to be some more people getting on here shortly. But for those that are listening in, <clears throat> I'm just going to treat this like I am without nobody being on the call. So I'm, I'm going to put it on speakerphone. Um, I'm going to start calling through these people. My goal is to set the appointment to go phys uh, physically see them in the home. Um, if for whatever reason it's just absolutely off the table, then I've got a way of handling that to set up a time or, um, yeah, set up a time to do some sort of a virtual appointment. So, but you'll find that with the way that I uh, set the appointment and the way I talk to them, a lot of people are super supportive and comfortable with um with letting me come over to the house um so i think you'll hopefully you'll get a lot from this um i'm excited i'm nervous like always it's a good thing it's normal um and i'll probably make some tips or like say some tips or reasons why i said this or that while i'm calling so i'll try to be as interactive as possible but just listen in enjoy i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get started right now Got to get your mind right, though. These people need our help. We are essential personnel. We got to get out there and get them taken care of. And here's the reason why. And he talks about this, too. I'll mention the reason why it's so important to get out to the house is because you lose a lot of control over the phone. So we can sell over the phone, but you will lose a lot of control. And it will also be one of those things that's a little bit difficult to maintain persistency and placement. So... Like I said, first first goal, get out to the house, set the appointment to go see them, back up plan. We'll try to set some up to do it over the phone if they're absolutely uncomfortable with it. All right, here I go. Hello, please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Evan. So let it let it ring four or five times, hang up, call back again. Y'all know the drill. Hello. Please state your name after the tone and Google Voice will try to connect you. Evan, case manager, calling for James. Let's see if James wants to pick up the phone today. So he's probably taking a hot bath. I'm going to call him right back again. Hello. Please state your name after the tone, and Google Voice will try to connect you. James, it's Evan. Answer, please. you got to have fun when you dial. There's nothing worse than just being bored while you dial. you got to have fun. Alrighty, so I'm moving on to the next one after three times. I'll give them a try next next round. Next go around. 
All right, now we're going to call Rasana and Edward. Try one more time. All right, moving on to the next one. That might be going straight to voicemail. Hello, you. I feel like that phone is turned off. I gotta check this out with my other phone number. It's a good idea to have multiple phone numbers. Um, just gives you extra chances of getting in front of somebody because once you get them on the phone, it's hey, if you can't book an appointment if you don't get somebody on the phone, but if you get them on the phone, you got a good shot. Hello, yeah, so that went straight to voicemail. I'll try to give her a call back later. Maybe still at work. Has her phone turned off? Sam Howard, you're crazy. Hey, David. Yeah. Hey, David. How you doing, bud? This is Evan Patzer here. I'm fine. That's good, man. Um, give me a quick call. I'm a case manager. I wanted to give you a quick call before I left the office. Uh, we actually just received a uh, postcard that was sent in to us. It was filled out. It looks like you had sent it in. Uh, do you remember sending that one in about the state-regulated program? Uh, it said 2020 benefits at the top. No. Uh, is this David? Is this David Serio by chance? Maybe I got the wrong guy. Okay. Yeah, we we uh. I don't call that stuff. Okay. Yeah, this said 2020 benefits at the top, sir. I'm a case manager here in Columbus, Ohio. It's the one that talked about the state regulated program to cover your final expenses. Uh, looks like you put uh, your name. Or somebody uh, did it. Was... My final expenses take care of those. No way. I would say the car. 
Well, I got a, I got a copy of it right here. You think maybe someone might have filled it out for you? Alrighty. See? Top producers get hung up on too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call him back. He's probably not going to answer. But then I'm going to go show up at his house in between my appointments and show him exactly what he filled out. Because this is a pretty old guy. Looks like he says he's 79 on here. And it's a fairly new lead, too. I mean, we just got this in on the 6th of April. So it's only about a month old. So he probably has no idea what's going on. But once I show this to him, he's, he's probably going to lighten up a little bit. So I'm going to door knock that one. I'm going to put that on my list of door knock. Never just, if somebody hangs up on you, never, never give up on them until you get your, like the door slammed in your face or something like that. And they absolutely say no to your face because a lot of times these people have no idea what's going on. Got the home phone. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed. So this one has two phone numbers on it. So I've got six shots here. If y'all have any questions or anything during this, you can type in the comment section and I'll check it frequently and try to answer those for you. <clears throat> Just got to get some more action going here. Not sure why people aren't answering right now. It's a pretty nice day out though, so maybe they're walking their dog.
All righty, on to the next one. Hey, Jose. Yeah. Hey, Jose, how are you, bud? This is Evan Patzer here. Uh, give me a quick call before I leave the office um, with the Mortgage Protection Center. Uh, we actually saw and received a lead that you had sent to us um, for the mortgage protection over there at 5674 Windsor Woods Drive. Do you remember sending that letter? I, I thought you, I, I thought you had the letter, no? Yeah, Jose. This is this is Jose, right? Yeah. Okay, Jose uh, Valdez, correct? V A L D E Z. Right. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, my name's Evan. I'm a case manager here in Columbus. We received that letter that you had mailed to our office. My manager just gave it to me about the protection of that mortgage over there. Uh, the reason I'm calling is because we're supposed to get some information out to you. Are you still at the 5674 Windsor Woods Drive? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. So they've got me scheduled to get that out to you. What's the name of your company? What's the name of your company? It's Worthy Alliance Mortgage Protection. We've got a handwritten letter with a signature on it that was mailed to us. Uh, it's that letter that talked about the. Yeah. Okay. You you remember that, right? Yeah, I sent three letters. Oh, okay. So you you sent okay. So you sent multiple letters to different companies. I see what happened. Okay. Yeah. So, right, right. yeah. So I'm just the case manager. So anytime we get these in, my job is just to make sure that we get that information out to right, you. Right. No, somebody can hit, somebody can quickly and grab it. Man. Yeah. 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 Too yeah. So we're just trying to make sure we get it out to you because uh, there's a lot of differences mm -hmm. between different companies. We want to make sure you mm -hmm. know what's available to you. Uh, do you know when's a good time to go over some of that with you sometime tomorrow or Thursday? No, no, I'll be out. So, uh, you, could, you could send me a letter if you want. You, know, you don't have any letters? Send it to me if I could look at it first. No? Yeah, so, so you said you got an insurance policy. Is that what you said? Right, right. Okay. I to somebody. Somebody came in. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, do you remember what the insurance company name was? Because this is a lot different. Um, a lot of people try to get those insurance policies, but this is specific for the mortgage, and a lot of times we can we can actually. Well, help. If you if you call me like if you call me like five ten minutes, I'll let you know. I call it tomorrow. I can call it tomorrow. Let you know. Okay, so you're available tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Okay, I I have to. Okay, I have to work off of a schedule. Do you have a time when you're gonna call? Give me like a time frame so I can be available because I, as I'm a very, they got me working really hard over here, so I'm, I'm not always available. Okay, okay. I will, I'll put in your message or your phone, I will tell your company, you call me back when you have a chance. Okay, yeah, because a lot of times we can, we can, a lot of insurance agents come out and they try to sell you these insurance policies, but mm -hmm. they're just trying to disguise something. So more than likely, we can get you a substantial savings for the same exact type of plan. If you qualify, right. so that's that's the only okay. thing. So just let me know tomorrow okay. um, at my direct line. Okay, okay, buddy. All right, thank you. Uh huh. Bye bye. Yeah. yeah, that was a weird one, but if he doesn't call me back, I'm just going to show up at his house and look at his policy and sell him something cheaper. Build rapport with him. So I'm gonna put a note here and make a note to follow up with them in between my appointments tomorrow.
Anybody got any questions here? When you door knock the last guy, what do you say when he answers the door? You talk, are you uh, texted back. Are you talking about the guy that hung up because he didn't know what, what the letter was? He said he didn't send anything in. Okay. So I show up to the house and um, let's just say this is the lead and his name was Bob. I say, hey, Bob, my name's Evan. I'm a case manager. I've been assigned to go over some information with you. This was sent into our office. Um, I, was in, I was in between appointments. I was asked to see you. Um, this letter was sent to our office, and I'm the case manager that's assigned to go over the state-regulated program that you wanted information about. I, I think we might have talked on the phone. I might say that if he acts like he knows, but if he doesn't, I won't say nothing. But if he if he acts like he knows, I'll be like, I think we might have talked on the phone and you didn't quite understand what I was talking about. So I wanted to make sure you visual, uh, visually uh, got a visual on what it was that you sent to us. And then I'll say, is now a good time? And I'll just go right in there. And it works all the time. Or I'll set up a, an appointment from the door. People are 10 foot tall over the phone and five foot tall in person. I mean, like just last week, it's it's weird. Every dial session is different. I booked like 12 in a row with no problems. And then right now you're seeing I'm not getting people on the phone and I'm getting objections. I get the same stuff everybody else does. It's just being creative and, and not giving up on those people. I just had one of them call me back. Um, so I'll, I'll call them back real quick. Oh, hey, Catherine. Yeah. Hey, this is Evan. I'm sure you returned my call. I saw that you just called me back. Um, the reason I had called yeah. you okay. is um, I'm a case manager. I work here in Columbus. We received a letter okay. in the mail, and it was given to me by my boss today. Um, he had asked me to give you okay. a call. It's about the uh, mortgage protection for your property at 6910. I think Wayne filled it out. Uh, but he put two phone okay. numbers on here, and I wasn't sure who to get a hold of. Okay. Did he uh, did he tell you about that? Are you familiar with that letter, or is that just something that he filled out? Um, mortgage protection. What do you mean? So it's a letter that states mortgage. as a yeah, it's a letter uh, that we had sent you in the mail, and it was completed and signed and returned to us um, about the. If anything were to happen to Wayne or you yourself, we would cover the cost of the mortgage. Um, it would pay it off completely for either one of you. Uh, or if you had a hard time making the payments due to some disability or unemployment, we would pick up that tab as well. Uh, just we get these requests in and we're required to follow back up and provide that information. Um, so I don't know if he showed you that letter um, or he talked to you about it. So. Okay. I think. Um, let me ask him if he filled it out. Or? Yeah, if you have him, I'd, I'd be happy to talk to him. I was trying to get a hold of him because he was signed it. Insurance. It's a it's a it's a mortgage Tell protection me. insurance plan that goes with the mortgage, and I think he was just wanting some information from us. So let me. I'm his wife. So okay. Insurance. What does that run a month? Can I ask you? Well, that's that's very dependable. Um, that's why I'm calling so that we could set a time. On his We're, age or my age? On either one, yeah. So it's all completely customizable based off of your age and your health, uh, just like any other insurance okay. plan. It's just a specific type for the mortgage. So I would actually need about 15, 20 minutes of your time so that I could go through some questions with you, go over that information, and provide okay. you the exact figures for that yeah because i think i have one kind of like a mortgage protection plan okay on if something were to happen i think to him it should cover the mortgage something for him on the house i think so let's see amount of insurance two hundred thirty-three thousand to hundred thousand let's see attached is Let's 
but y'all getting through this pandemic? Uh, yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. You are. That's good. I know. Very fortunate. Yeah. A lot of people yeah, are not. You're probably working too. Oh, we're we're on overload. <laughs> I mean, we're like oh, yeah. extra busy. Yeah, yeah. We've got more requests in than we have ever had before. And we're, you know, considered really? a Yeah, yeah. Because people, you know, they want to make sure their assets are protected and their their families are protected if something were to happen to them. And so we, you should see the I number of... that's true. It makes sense. Plus two. I wasn't sure. If it, my girlfriend works for State Farm. And yeah. I know the whole last year, they're... Their sales were kind of down a little bit. Yeah. So I don't know if they've just been up recently or if claims have been up recently. Yeah. Well, we also have a department that handles retirement protection as well. So that's mm -hmm. another big avenue of respondents reaching out to us for that because, you know, a lot of people that have those 401ks or investment accounts are they're losing money left and right in the stock market. And so we've been overwhelmed yeah. with requests for that because people are losing money. They want us to help them protect it. So it's just both ways. It's yeah. been really, really busy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's probably true on that. Yeah. I'm trying to see what this is. Do you know what the name of the insurance company is by chance? Uh, first it was, hang on a second. First it was 222000 Now it's like 233000 I think I must have been increased a little bit. I don't remember how. Um, what the name of the insurance company is? Yeah. So what you ask, yeah. Globe. Globe Life. Okay. And now, did yeah. you just take that out recently or have you had it for a while? No, no, I've had it for a long time. Okay. Now, I know a little bit about Globe Life. Um, now, okay. what I know most uh, from, from just doing this for so long is that a lot of their plans are five year renewable terms. Uh, is that a type of policy you have? Is it structured like that where every five years the cost of the insurance goes up? Do you know? No, I don't think so because we, like, we both have regular life insurance. Okay. I think this was just additional coverage that they sent us when we refinanced the house or whatever. Okay. And it was, at the time, it's called current coverage. Let's see. Well, life, it's basically just a life and accident insurance policy. Okay. Do you know what the... It said 247000 Do you know what the pre, the month... Do you pay like a monthly or an annual premium on that? Yeah, it's like 25 bucks a month. Okay, and that's on Wayne, much. right? Yeah. Okay, so that's on Wayne. So what you've got, what they gave you, what they extended to you, is just an accidental only type of an insurance plan where the only way you're going to access the, the the death benefit for that is if an accidental yeah. death occurred. So just yeah. just be aware yeah. of that. Some people don't have any yeah, clue. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, I do. I know. I know it is because I already have. We already have a life insurance policy. Okay. On him. Gotcha. So yeah, so, we we would we would actually this would be something that would would cover no matter what. So natural cause, yeah. right? It looks like Wayne is, you know, born January 28th, 1950. Um, so he's what, 69 yeah. right now? Uh, he's 70 right now. He, he's 70 already. Okay. So he's 70, yeah. you know, so most people don't have an accident once they're after that time right. frame. It's just nice to have that extra cushion if it did happen. Uh, but how much coverage yeah. do you have for real life insurance? Is it enough to pay off the mortgage? I think it's like, yeah, it is. It's like two fifty. Okay, and, and then he has life insurance on me too. Mine, he has it on me for that life. Okay, I'm trying to think. So, so we have it on him through is. I just cut the paper on my desk the other day. Oh, Prudential. Oh, Prudential. That's okay. His policy is through, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So and you've I'm had sure those policies. Okay. For a long time. His tenure comes up in, um, let's see, policies design premiums, same for 10 years. So I think he's got another 2014 is when. Okay. His, Term, 10 years. And that's a 250000 
Yeah. Okay, so he's got a 250,000 10 year. So he's got another three and a half years or so. And then that yeah. goes away. Yeah. So maybe what he was thinking, because I'm just trying to think of what his mindset was when he sent this in, was thinking, okay, well, we've yeah. got insurance, but you know, should I outlive that, which is very possible, especially if he's reasonably healthy. Um, at the age of yeah. 74, that expires, and then there's absolutely nothing that would cover the mortgage if he passed away. Now, you're working still. Is he still working? Yeah, we're both still working. Okay, well, good. What kind of work do you do? Uh, we have a cell phone repair store, computer, iPad. Check you store. out. I'm coming <laughs> over. I got to get this laptop fixed. <laughs> Are you in Columbus? Yeah, yeah. I live, actually, I'm... Oh, okay. I got two homes. I got one in Grove City and one on the corner of New Albany and Westerville. So I'm right up there by you. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're right here in New Albany. But yeah, our store's right by Mellow Mushroom up there on Claris. Heck yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We'll have to come yeah. check y'all out for sure. Well, come and check us out. We're, our technician's great. We've got a nice store. So yeah, stop down and see us. Awesome. Are you, so you're allowed to operate yeah. now? They're letting you? We have been. We've been open. We never closed. Heck yeah. Good for you. Believe it or not. Yeah, we're an essential store because, Perfect. you know, if someone's phone goes down or their computer or laptop, they can't work, they can't call home. So, yeah, you know, we've been an essential store. I mean, there's been days we only made 50, 100 bucks. But, yeah. You know, we stayed open. Yeah. You know, people didn't know that we were open. So sure. we tried to let people know that we are open. Sure. Well, you're exactly right about being essential. I mean, think about how many people, if their phone cuts out, they don't know what to do with themselves. It's it's crazy. So Absolutely. And I'm, I'm one of yeah. them. So <laughs> uh, it's just yeah, a way of I mean, life now. It's communication. And, you know, communication is important. So, but well, I think... I think I'm kind of figuring out here the situation. So when would be a good time, maybe 10, 15 minutes where I could talk to both you and Wayne and we would we'd be able to look at what, exactly what it would look like. Cause I understand now I've got a better picture. It's kind of painted in my mind. Um, you know, he's got that good coverage, but then it is going to expire. So it's definitely not going to cover the term of the mortgage. Right. What is your first name again? My name's Evan. Evan. Yeah. Okay, Evan. Well, he's not here right now. Actually, he's working right now, but I think he's out delivering a customer's phone right now. So. Okay. Well, here's here's why I called anyways, because I have to work off of a schedule. So I was going to see yeah. when would be a, a good time over the next two to three days, like tomorrow, Friday, or Saturday, where we could get together and just look at everything. That way you're fully aware what's available to you. And then from there, you've got yeah. real numbers. Does it make sense? Does it not? Uh, but I would have to, okay. you know, I would have to, you know, go over that information with you. Um, and preferably, we're, we're supposed to because this is state regulated plans that we have. It's not like a, just a regular life insurance plan. We do need to verify that, you know, people are upright and breathing and stuff like that. And they're not, <laughs> oh, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. But this week and probably next week's not going to be a good week because we've got we're like we're trying to work on a storage unit so i know that he's booked and he's got he's out of the store okay like, from tomorrow and what is today wednesday yeah tomorrow, it's friday he'll be out of the store now i mean the guys are working then i think he next week we're working on the storage unit which we've got a lot of stuff that we're working on with that so i think he's got adam covering the store but and then we're working on our taxes next week so i would probably say it's going to be a couple of weeks so yeah let's maybe do what weeks. what day of the week is usually the best and we can do a tentative and touch base uh when it gets closer to that time to set something more in stone i'm looking the week of the 17th to the 23rd so what what type of day like a monday tuesday saturday friday um, probably on a tuesday or wednesday Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay, so we're looking at tentatively yeah. a um, like the 19th or the 20th. And then what I'll do is I'll make a note to follow back up with you um, like that weekend. Yeah. And then we'll just go from there and play it by ear. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, all righty. Well, perfect. We'll talk closer then because I can't tell you quite what his schedule is going to be right now because I don't really know. Perfect. No, and I understand that you're both, you know, running a business and I get it. So I'm 
I totally get it. So I'll cut, I'll touch base with you. Uh, say, like I said, probably on, um, probably like on the 15th, Friday the 15th, and we'll go from there. Or maybe even Monday the 18th. Okay. All righty, we'll keep, keep running and keep doing your thing, and um, I'll chat with you here soon. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. Today has just been a, a totally different situation for me. Crazy. As soon as you start to do a, uh, a live dial session for a ton of people, start getting hit with all kinds of challenges but somebody like this um i've had this plenty of times before where like they're business owners they're crazy busy sometimes the harder ones to catch uh the, the bigger fish you fry i mean ends up being a big premium for both of them once i get in front of them i stay in touch stay in front of them i'll get in front of them for sure and then when i do that we're probably going to uncover and I was, if you noticed, I was like laying, I was like laying eggs and seeds and um, little like subliminal thoughts about like people losing money, people afraid to die. And then kindly, subtly reminding them, hey, like four years, your insur his insurance is going to go out. He's not going to have nothing to cover you. And she's, she's just feeding me all this information. This is all good stuff. A lot of stuff that I would go over normally with, with them in the home. But I think this will turn out to be a big one and a good one. I just got to stay in touch with them, and I'll and I'll I'll get there. I'll get there, and it could turn into some like I uh, some annuity stuff too. So, um, anyways, I am gonna keep calling because I technically only have like a half of appointment booked. Let's see here. Well, Jason, she said she's got, he filled out the form. So remember that she just was nice and wanted to talk to me um, <clears throat> and decided to tell me everything about her insurance portfolio. But remember, you know, in her mind still, you know, she's thinking, well, we already got plenty of actual life insurance, but it's only 10 year term is what I found out. It's not a whole life. So that's going to expire in four years. It's not going to do them any good. So, I'm going to have fun trying to pronounce these names. Hello? Hey, Prince. Hey, Prince. How you doing, bud? This is Evan Patzer here. I'm a case manager. I work here in Columbus. Uh, I was giving you a quick call. Uh, we had a letter that we received at our office. I'm not sure if you remember sending it in. Uh, for the mortgage over there at three uh, three five four Hoskins Way, uh, do you remember sending that to us? Can you say it again, please? Yes, sir. So my name's Evan. I'm a case manager. Uh, my boss just gave me a letter that we received in the mail. Uh, it was that letter about the mortgage protection for your property at three five four Hoskins Way in Columbus. Um, okay. And I'm uh, just giving you a call to make sure you remember sending that in because I'm supposed to get some information out to you. You remember that? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, 
Well, I'm just supposed to get some information out to you. They've got me scheduled to do that sometime uh, tomorrow or Friday. Do you know if morning, afternoon, is evening is best for you? Morning, uh, morning. Mornings are good? By, by, yeah, by 8. 8 a.m.? 8, 8, yeah. 8.30? Okay, so you go into work? Yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, and then what about your wife? Um, is that your wife, uh, Sinev? Is it Kenev or Sinev? Kanabe, all right, man. You, you're killing me here, man. You gotta. You're going to school and helping me to pronounce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's Kanabe, right? Yeah. Okay, so Kanabe. Is she? What's her work schedule look like? Um, uh, I'm a very man, so I work every day. So okay. And I don't, I don't live in here. Okay. Sometimes. So you said about eight o'clock is good. Yeah, good. Okay, so because this is a state program and it has to do with your mortgage, we do need to verify the condition of yeah. the home and stuff. So I'll be over there at 8 a.m. tomorrow if that works uh, with my PPE, yeah. proper protective equipment, face mask, all that good stuff. Um, and just so you know, I'm like blonde hair, blue eyes, about five foot eight on a good day. So I'm not very tall. So you know what I look like. Should only take about 15 minutes to go over this, okay? All right. All righty, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. All right. Thank All right. you. You're welcome, bud. Bye. Bye-bye. And that's how you're supposed to book it. I, I, I try to get them comfortable with me over the phone and just be cool and be myself and joke around a little bit. Because if you can do that, number one, that's going to make them remember you're coming over and they're going to be very comfortable with the fact that you're coming over that's very key and i just told him hey because this is a state program we've got to verify the condition of the house verify id um i got to come over and make sure everything's good should take about 15 minutes to go over it um you know just tell them who i am tell them i'm only five foot eight you know make them laugh again and just go from there so 8 a.m tomorrow morning it's been a while since i had an early morning appointment like that i'm pretty fired up <laughs> All right, y'all making me nervous. Usually I'm more smooth. Right. Oh, yeah, this will be good. Jason, to answer your question, um, if I'm doing a dial session, they call me back while I've got all my leads in front of me, I'll answer the phone um, because I'm trying to book some business, right? But if they call me back later on, I'm in the car, I don't have my leads in front of me, I'll let them leave a message and I'll get back to them when I have the, the form in front of them because a lot of times they're like, well, who is this and why'd you call? I'm like, well, hey, I know I called you for a reason, but I got to look at the sheet that was given to me so I can tell you why I did and they're like what the hell so you don't want to do that but if you got the leads in front of you yeah absolutely take pick and call hey and then greet them like oh hey Marie thanks for calling me back you know and they're like oh this guy knows me
Hey, William. Yeah. Hey, bud. How you doing? This is Evan Patzer here. I uh, was giving you a quick call before I leave the office. Uh, we had a letter sent in to us. I'm not sure if you or Marie sent it, but uh, I'm a case manager working here in uh, Columbus, Ohio for the Mortgage Protection Center. And there was a letter filled out and sent to us about the protection of that mortgage. Was that you? Was that Marie? Me. Okay. <laughs> I do all that stuff. Well, I did. I got um, like six different letters. <laughs> Well, that's just crazy. I'm sure you got your phone blown up for a week straight for sending all these in. Oh my God. <laughs> God bless your heart, Marie. <laughs> I, I can't afford it on down the line, maybe. Well, let me ask you a quick question because there's a, yeah, yeah, I, and I get that completely. Let me ask you a quick question, though. Um, when that person came out to the house and went over information with you, what was it because there's a lot of people that try to do stuff like this but they I, what i found is that they tr they do something that that doesn't necessarily make sense and show this outrageous price that would never be something affordable what did he show you or she show you uh and what do they quote you i don't remember uh, it's been long enough ago okay but we can't afford anything right now. We just got back from the food pantry getting our groceries. Okay, I gotcha. I was we're just. Like, we're like broke. Both of us was in the hospital almost all of last year. Wow. Well, are you feeling better now? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I, was, I lost my ability to walk. Oh, my gosh. I found out the and I'm walking now. Yeah, so. that's something to be grateful for. Oh. Well, I just want... Oh, my it's gosh. Absolutely well, that's a blessing that you're back on your feet, literally. Um, mm -hmm. And the day I got home, he had a stroke. Oh, my gosh. One thing after another. They say when it rains, it pours. Oh, it did. Because after he started getting better, then my brother fell, and we lost him officially January the 1st. Oh, my gosh. Really? Seriously? That's a domino effect, Marie. That's crazy. It gets better. He was oh. in the hospital a month and a half. Then two days ago, we lost his sister to COVID-19. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Well, I'm sorry to hear you've had to go through all these 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 challenges and these hardships. Are you seeing the light though? Are you seeing the light at the end of this tunnel? I think so. It's it's coming. Well, I can tell you one thing. I, we you, Trump. What'd you say? Actually, let me get him on the phone right now. I'm going to call Mr. Trump. Tell that guy to expedite your your uh, stimulus check. Hold on one second. Oh, we got it. Oh, you got the stimulus check? Hey, I heard they're doing a double yeah. check. I heard they're getting ready to do another one. Oh, my word. Yeah. I heard about it. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Mr. Trump wants to pull the trigger on it. All he's got to do is just make the United States of America a little bit further in debt. It ain't going to change much. Yeah, we've been in debt for a while. Hell, that's how we live. That's right. Why, why not just stretch it out a little bit more, you know, if it means saving lives and helping people out, right? So, Amen. Well, listen, you're doing something right because you make a little guy like me and put me in a good mood with your energy. So I'm, I'm happy to happy to have uh, been able to talk to you. The reason I asked that question about that other folk that came out is I wanted to make sure they weren't just trying to show you something to cover your entire mortgage because he wasn't jacking me up. He was what? He wasn't jacking me up. Okay. Well, yeah, I just want to make sure because I hear I complaints about that all the time. You know, I was like, 
a lot of times people try to show them what it's going to cost to cover their entire mortgage. And if you're in your 70s or 80s, that's not necessary usually because what happens is most of the time people just need enough time bought to figure out what they're going to do with the house without absorbing the entire expense of that mortgage all at once when they lose a loved one and some income. And so we've got actually, I don't know if he explained it to you because he doesn't, he definitely don't work with our company. <laughs> Otherwise um, I wouldn't be talking to you because only one case gets assigned to one person, but um, it ends up being almost extremely affordable uh, to go that route because of some of the programs we have for people that are on fixed incomes. Um, Cause we work with, we work with the state of Ohio. And so they've given us different types of programs for people that are on fixed incomes and of older ages. So I wanted to make sure we at least had a chance to go over that with you. So you know, what's available to you. Um, and then, you know, from there. Why don't you call me back in about six months? Well, let me, let me, let me do this. Um, let's make, let's go over the options. Not now, but uh, maybe sometime tomorrow, Thursday or Friday or Saturday. That way, you know what those programs entail. And then you can, you know, take as long as you want to figure out if it's something that's going to be necessary for you and William. Because obviously, we don't want you. Okay, we don't why don't we go over Saturday? Give me a time. I'll, I'll, I'll come over with my gloves, face mask, and we'll go over everything for take, take about 15, 20 minutes. Um, well, what time are you available? Well, Saturday, I'm available in the morning and the afternoon. So you pick a time. About 10 a.m.? 11. Yeah, 10, 10 or 11 is fine. You, which one do you prefer? 11, because he just indicated he has to sleep. Yeah, Again. he needs to get some rest. Okay. You, need, you need more sleep when you hit my age. Absolutely, you wake up and go to sleep. That's exactly what gets done. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to somebody yesterday. We were, uh, we were, we were talking about some of this stuff, and. I, they're like, Evan, you know, you wouldn't believe it. Um, as soon as you get, the older you get, the faster time goes. And I was like, yeah, it's probably like waking up and then going back to sleep. <laughs> so no problem. 11 o'clock works for me. Now, just so you know what I look like, so you don't invite anyone else over. It's blonde hair, blue eyes. I'm about five foot eight on a good day. So I'm definitely not very tall. Okay. All right, honey. Y'all have a good uh, evening. You too. All righty. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I ain't taking no. Tell me things are too expensive. But you see, like, you just got to keep pushing. And... Build relationship, talk to them like they're your friend. Like, I'm coming over. Like, it ain't gonna hurt you to get some more information, right? They know it. And so that's it. That's how you do it. And I have to I can't tell you how many times I've had somebody say it's too expensive. There's nothing we can afford right now. We can't afford anything right now. But then as soon as I go over there and I find out they both got over a thousand dollars a month coming in, guaranteed. And they don't have any life insurance to cover their burial. We're going to get them something minimal to make sure that's covered. Because if they don't have it, it's going to be more expensive not to have it. But I can't do that with them over the phone. I've really got to get up in there and do, and, and do that when I get there. So that was Saturday at 11 a.m. And, and seriously, guys, like, listen. 1938 in 1942 these people are old they don't care you just tell them you know the don't make it a big deal if it's not a big deal to you it's not going to be a big deal to them but if you limit yourself and you're like nobody's going to let me come over like trust me they really don't want you to come over they're going to make that known but if you don't ask 
or just act like it's natural and assume it, then you're not going to get physical appointments. You're going to miss out on great opportunities. Like I just had an appointment uh, last week, the week before, booked the appointment, 60s, mid 60s. Um, there's no way I would have got a sale if I didn't go over to that house because they were looking for disability and they're both over the age, well, one was over the age of 63. Disability pretty much stops at the, after that. And the other one was 60, uh, but just kept talking, 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 talking. 401k needs to be rolled over. Annuity, boom, 40k, you know? So, eight, ten. And notice, like, I also didn't say anything was free, but I use keywords, like you said, Jason, like fixed income, like in different programs, like. It's all accurate and true. It's just different verbiage, different terminology. <laughs> Sam, you're crazy. Okay, I got to get back to work. <clears throat> And that's the thing too, sometimes it's boom, 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 book the appointment. You don't need to spend a lot of time with them on the phone, but don't be afraid to spend time with people on the phone like I just did with those last two people because you're building some rapport naturally like that, getting them comfortable with you and you've given yourself a larger chance to help somebody and just even be open to having, having you come out to see them. All right, Brenda, let's go. Gosh, I can't even. Okay, I can hardly read it, but. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Hey, Michael. How you doing, bud? This is Evan here. I'm a case manager over here in Columbus. Uh, just giving you a quick call before I leave the office. I'm not sure if it was you or Brenda, but we received a postcard in the mail about our 2020 benefits for our state program uh, to pay the final expenses. Do you remember sending that in or was that uh, Brenda? It must have been her, but she's asleep right now. Friend to sleep right now. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I'll give her a call back. That's not a problem. When would be a good time to catch her? Uh, midday or about, I'm sure probably, uh, it's too late to call back now, but, uh, but it's going to be okay in the next hour, I would imagine. But I mean, whatever time you think is better. Okay. Well, if, I, if I'm still here, um, I'll, I'll try to buzz her before I leave. Uh, but if not, I'll touch base tomorrow afternoon. Okay? All right. All right. You're welcome, bud. Bye. Nothing you can do about that. She sent it in. Got to call her back. Get her on the phone. Charles, let's go Charles, fire it up. That's another thing too. If you get in-home appointments during the pandemic, it's a pretty strong indication there's a close or a likely close. Um, 
because like they're just wanting you to come out in the middle of risks. So that's a good thing too. Brand spanking new. Hey, Charles. Uh, this is Evan. I'm with the Mortgage Protection Center here in Columbus. I'm calling to speak to Charles. Charles there? Yes, I already told somebody already. Oh, uh, sir, we just uh, got the letter you sent in to us like a couple of days ago. Oh, oh, I sent it in last week. Yeah, we just got it at the office. We've, we, we've had a lot of requests coming in. Um, this is Charles uh, Boundant, right? Maduro? Yeah, so okay. I've already done signed papers and everything, so I'm, I'm good. Did you, uh, did you get an insurance policy or did you actually get mortgage protection? I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Well, we just still need to make sure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to door knock this guy. He's one of those guys. You get people like that. They're good. They're good. You go over there and say, "Hey, not sure we got disconnected. I'm not sure how, but uh, let's go over that policy. Save you some money." This person's name is Zim Zim. Interesting. Hey, Zim Zim? Yes? Hey, Zim Zim, how are you? It's Evan here. I'm, a I'm good. 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 I'm, a, I'm a case manager here in Columbus. Uh, just got a letter okay. that my boss gave to me. It's about the uh, mortgage you have over there at 5768 Placenda. Do you remember sending that letter to uh -huh. us? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm the gentleman that they've assigned uh, to get some information out to go over it with you. Um, I see you got a birthday, 8-16-1967, correct? Yes. Look at yes. you. You're like almost the same as mine. I'm August 10th. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're cool people. Uh, any, anyway, Zim Zim, um, I've, they've got me scheduled to go over some information with you sometime tomorrow or Friday. And I do have a little bit of time I can do on Saturday too. You know what day and time would be best for you? No, 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 you won't be, be everything shut down with the uh, pandemic. Well, we're going to have to come out there um, with our PPE proper protective and uh, go over that information with you. What time would be best for you? Morning, afternoon or evening? Uh, uh, I don't know. What kind of kids work? Is it healthcare? Healthcare? I'm sorry? Uh, has, uh, no, it's it's the. I don't know what he called. Let me let me. Manager, yeah, no, th this is the this is the state regulated uh, protection plan that we've got to put in place for your mortgage that you sent the letter to. We just got to get that taken care of for you. It probably takes about five ten minutes. Um, we just got to verify some ID, and make sure. It's I don't. Me. I don't. Uh, just to send to me paper, I feel I, I feel back. No, no, no. Paper. This is the, this is an actual state program. We've got to verify information with you and go over it with you. So you said tomorrow. You said is is a better time for you, right? I don't have mortgage, but uh, I pay for fee. Okay. Only fee. 
I understand that. I understand that. Yeah, we just got a signed letter uh, with your information on it. The state? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the state? No problem. Yeah. So what time tomorrow to go over the benefits with you? Because we've got to go over that morning, afternoon, or evening. I've got... Okay, I can do... I can I can do a 3.30. Okay, good. Okay, all right. I'll see you at 3.30 then. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sometimes it doesn't matter how you book the appointment. You just book it. Still don't even know what I'm talking about. But when I get over there, we're going to figure this thing out. Thursday. It's kind of a soft appointment. I might book one over top of that, too. So. Okay, I've got somebody calling me back. Let's see who it is. Oh, here we go. Hey, Sylvia. Hello. Hey, Sylvia. Who is this? Uh, my name's Evan. I called you. I think you're calling me back. You called two five two four eight three three. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm a case manager. I was trying to get a hold of you. This is Sylvia, right? No, this is her niece. Oh, okay. What is it? I was trying to get a hold of Sylvia. She uh, she had sent in a uh, a postcard about one of our state programs. I work for Senior Benefits here in Columbus, oh. and I'm a case manager. I'm okay. just required to follow up with her and go over some information with her. Oh, well, I'll tell her that you called. You can call back tomorrow. You might catch you. This is a good number. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll give her a call back tomorrow, right. and I'll discuss that with her. Thank right. you. Thank you. Uh huh. Bye. I ain't scared. Oh, there's a question I just saw. Um, if ever had to call a translator, uh, if it's Spanish, 
there's plenty of people that fluently speak Spanish in our company that I might get them on the phone. Definitely use translation services or people that can speak those languages when you're actually in an appointment. But to book an appointment, it's just letting people know you're coming over. So that's the whole purpose of the appointment is just let them know you're coming over and make sure they're going to be there, right? The work you do is mainly done when you're in the home and you get out to the house. So no, I mean, I just, if they can't understand me at all, I just, I'm going to request credit because you can get leads that if they don't speak English, you don't understand one another. You can request credit and get, um, get another lead for free. Um, so I, I do that sometimes, but she speaks English. She's just not super. So when I get over there and I show her stuff, you know, it'd be good. Be real good. Calling is currently unavailable. Please. Alrighty. I see how it is. See how it is. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as the cold party is temporarily unavailable. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Okay, this one's not going through. Folks, I'll be back in just a second.
Now I'm starting to call some some older leads. Pop a soda on. Listen, you are listening. Hi, you've reached the Browns. Please leave the mic. The Browns. Hey, Robert. Yes, who is this? Hey. I don't understand what. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Um, this Robert? Yeah, I'm at work. Yeah, I'm at work trying to get finished up. How can I help you? No, no problem, sir. I was just giving you a call before I left work myself. Uh, we got a letter okay. here. Hey. Who are calling? I'm trying to get to that, but you're not letting me speak. So, All you got to do is send the name of the company that you're from, then I'll know. You interrupt me as soon as I start talking. Okay, who are you from, sir? My name's Evan. I'm a case manager. I work for State Benefits. We received the postcard that was mailed to us and filled out by you or Shirley. I'm not sure. I'm following up with you to make sure we get some information out to you. Do you remember sending that to us? I don't know. I do so much stuff every day, sir. I'm a, I understand. I understand. It's in reference to a state program that we just rolled out. If you qualify, it'll cover your final expenses. And you, <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, I've been getting phone calls on that all day long. We have life insurance. Well, we're, we're, we're good. That's, this is totally different. This is a state program. I think you probably were trying to get information about it. Most people reach out to us to try if they're trying to save money because they think that their insurance costs too much. So my job is just yeah. to make sure we get that information out to you. My, my, my our insurance uh, premium is paid out my wife's uh, retirement check. My wife retired from the city of Columbia. Okay, well that's awesome. That's a good job right there. Okay, so you got yeah, insurance okay. through her work. I don't have enough time to talk to you, so I'm getting ready to go inside. I work, I'm, a, I'm a driver. I'm on the road. Okay. Okay. What? what? I have to go in the store and talk to these supervisors from my company. So I can't stay on the phone with you uh, like, like that. Okay. So why don't I contact you later, and we can set up a time to go over the program, because that's my job. That's why I was calling. I, I'm not here to take up your time. Uh, but I was asked to get in touch with you so we go over this because we received the information from you. So we're required to follow up and go over that information. Well, that's, well, that's, that's, well, that's not important. You don't have to call back. Well, why isn't it important? Because I have life insurance that keeps 
Hey, have a great day. I don't let people talk to me that way. I'll get right up in there. I'll door knock them. Actually, I got a... I actually had this lead before. I got to request credit on that. <laughs> I'm going to go get this old man. He soon as he started, you said you saw what he was doing, right? I tried to tell him who I was, and he interrupted me as soon as I opened my mouth. I said, hey, what's your problem? I'm trying to tell you who I am, but you just stop interrupting me. And he immediately shut up and let me talk. So uh, apparently this guy doesn't know what he's getting himself into, but this is what he sent us, so I'm going to go confront his ass. And he's going to hear from me. Okay, on to the next one. On to the next one. It's a numbers game. It's a numbers game. So far, I've done thirty-eight dials, nine contacts, five appointments. Hello. Hey, Herbert. Yeah, speaking. Hey, Herbert. How you doing, bud? It's Evan here. I'm a case manager giving you a quick call. I uh, work here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we we had a yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. We had a letter that was given to me today. It looks like it was sent in to us. I work for State Senior Benefits. I'm a case manager. Um, we had a letter sent in about our state program. Uh, that would pay for final expenses. Do you remember sending that postcard in? It said 2020 benefits at the top. Uh, no. Maybe I got the wrong guy. Hold on. Is that Herbert Dotson, right? Spouse Peggy? Yeah. Okay, over there at the 2106 Lee Lane? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you probably get all kinds of letters, I'm sure, but this was filled out and returned back to us, so we're just required to follow up. Make sure we get that information out to you. Um, it's the it's the state program. If you qualify, it'll cover all all those those expenses. Um, I'm just get, letting you know that I've been assigned to getting that information out to you and Peggy. Do you know uh, what day is best to go over that? I don't have time now, but tomorrow or Friday. Uh, what's this? Uh, you said state program. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's the it's the state regulated program. It'll pay for your final expenses. You have to qualify. Uh, certain folks do. That's why we're trying to see how we can help you. Oh, it's uh, insurance. Uh... Yeah, it's a special state program through state regulated through the state of Ohio. Yes, sir. I've got the information. I'm supposed to go over it with you, but like I said, I'm just calling to figure out what your schedule looks like right now. Are you still working? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, I changed my mind about that, okay? Well, we, we still got to go over it and get you to sign off because we got this, uh, this, this letter here. We're required to do that, make sure by law we get that done. So wouldn't be a good time. It should take about 10 minutes. I don't, like I said, I don't have time now, but Thursday or Friday. Well, uh, 
How much is it a month? Well, if you qualify, it might not cost you anything. That that's why we're supposed to go over that with you. Like I said, I, I've got to I've got to verify some ID, ask you some questions. It's going to take longer than just a few minutes right now, and they've got me leaving the office. So, but I am available to do that for you tomorrow or Friday. So, which day and time would be uh, best for you? Uh, it's probably uh, Friday. Friday. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I've got. Yeah, I've got a couple slots in the afternoon. I've got I've got a twelve and a two thirty, which would be better for you. Uh two thirty. Two thirty? Okay. Yeah. All right. Now because this is a state program, we do need to verify some ID. Is that okay? Uh yeah. All righty. Well, I'll go over this information with you at 2.30 on Friday, okay? We'll see you then. Okay. All righty, bud. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Now you're like, well, hey, that's not right. You told him it might be free. It might be, but I didn't guarantee anything. So we got to figure out if you qualify for that. But really what we'll do is get them qualified for the next best thing. And I'll let him know his, uh, I'll let him know about his free $250 with social security. So you just got to, so here's the thing. It's like, you got to do what is necessary because a lot of people are shooting themselves in the foot. This gentleman probably don't have anything in place. Yeah. Social security gives you up to like 250 bucks or something like that. Um, if he's been in the military, they cover like 255 bucks, something crazy little like that. But um they're probably shooting themselves in the foot because they're like, oh, I can't afford nothing. Um, but they may not have anything at all to cover their expenses. And then once you have a conversation with them and you show them, and you, you know, they're like, okay, well, you know, let's get the best thing available and just go with it. Otherwise, I don't have a shot at all. So it's, it's give yourself a shot to help somebody because they'll be grateful for it if you really are able to get out there and go help them out. No, not usually. Uh, really, it's a case by case on following up. Um, especially now, the chances of them for sure being home um, it is already pretty high because nobody can really go anywhere. There's nothing to do. There's not much open. And so I, I should have done, on some of these appointments I booked, I should have done a stronger tie down. Um, and sometimes I forget to do that, but you do want to make sure you do a strong tie down, like, okay, I'm coming over, you know, this is what I look like, you know, give me a description of the house, paint that picture. So 
Uh, but I usually don't unless I make a commitment to tell them I'm going to call them and I'm on my way. Um, some people I will do that. Those people are typically a lot more serious. So I'll make sure I honor their request. And then, hey, I'll let you know when I'm on my way. Almost every time they're good. Um, they're happy I called them and they're prepared for when I come over. So. But I also book multiple appointments in a single day, so I'm not really worried about too much if they don't happen to be there. I just rebook it and go on to the next house or knock on another knock on a door. I spoke to this lady a month ago, and I don't even remember what we talked about. to call her anyways and see what's going on. Oh, you're welcome, Lainey. Hopefully it's been helpful. Hey, Teresa. Who's this? Hey, it's Evan here. We spoke last month. I'm not sure if you remember we, uh, but you had called in and uh, asked for some information from our state regulated insurance program from our TV commercial. I had a note to follow back up with you. I just wanted to make sure we touch base again. Um, we were looking at different options. To I help. had insurance. Uh, yeah, because I know I'm looking at here at my records. I know we talked for quite a bit of time on the 6th. And then um, you had called me back. We had a call that came in on the 10th of March. Um, uh -huh. Told medical No, no, honey, no, no. This is that TV commercial that you called in about. You gave us the code word junior. And uh, it's for, the, the yeah, state regulated program. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I just uh, got, uh, what's it called, global? You got globe life? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm very familiar with that. And uh, yeah. just real quick though, that Globe Life plan, they, they do two different types of plans. I just want to make sure I understand what you have. Is that the one that renews every five years and it's, it's called like a five-year renewable term or is that the one that's a... No, uh, okay. no. Okay. All righty. And so you got that. Do you know how much coverage you got? Because we got a state program that if you, I think that's what you called in about. If you qualified, it's a it's subsidized discounts. Uh, for folks over uh, the age of 50, um, you might be able to save up to 20%. I'm not sure, though. Do you know what you how coverage you have and what you pay? Yeah, I got 50000 and I pay um, 26 something a month. 50000 you pay 26 a month? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. And you just got that, right, honey? Yeah. Okay. Like last week, last like, uh, Thursday. Last Thursday. Okay, okay. Hey, um... Did they send you the policy in the mail yet, by chance? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Um, I want you to just just for your own purpose, because I work with the state, so we our, one one of our jobs is just to make sure people are educated and understand exactly what they have, so that they're they're well taken yeah. care of. When <clears throat> when you get that policy in the mail, or we could even call them at some point, I want you to verify and confirm that that's not going to go up in cost or expire at a different age, because I've been, you know, in this, this work line of work for a long time and to get that much coverage for that little of a, a monthly premium, almost nine times out of 10, every five years, the cost of that's going to go up. I'm not hundred percent. They've confirmed that, but usually that's what the case is. And then if you outlive age 80, you don't have coverage anymore. So the 26 will be, it won't be 26, five years from now. Right. Um, because your birthday is June 8th, 1960? Uh-huh. Okay. And you use tobacco too, right? Yeah. Okay. So were you looking at having something that goes up in cost and expires later? Or were you looking more of a permanent plan so that no matter what, it pays out? No, I, I just want to go back into work. Okay. So you're good. But when you stop working, you lose that coverage too, right? No, then I have to cover your work. 
Yeah, yeah, honey, I understand that. You'll have work coverage. I get that. I'm, I'm on the same page. I'm just trying to make sure I, I help you out here. So when you go back to work, right, because a lot of people are off work, you, 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 you have coverage through work, but then when you ultimately retire or stop working, almost no company will let you keep the insurance through work, right? And then you're... No, they say, we, they say that once we get retirement, that we could uh, either pick it up or it wouldn't cost that much. What, uh, what company do you work I'm a hotel motel. Hotel motel, okay. I'm yeah. the hotel association, yeah. Okay, so hotel motel. Okay, so just check in on that because yeah. I just would hate for you because I've, I've been here before, right? I had a 78-year-old man who had $40,000 worth of whole life insurance through work, and he called us because the insur they just took it away from him. He had it even after he yeah. had retired, and then they decided because you don't really own that policy. And then they just decided to take away the benefits. And here he was, 78 years old. It was really hard for him to get good coverage because of his age and his health conditions. So we just want to make sure stuff like that doesn't happen to people because it leaves them vulnerable later. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, once you get the policy, probably I would think probably by next week at least. Okay. So let's, yeah, let's make sure of that uh, and then go from there because we, we probably – be better off if you're going to have anything at all that you're paying for something that's not going to expire on you or go up in cost later all right so i'll touch base with you here well, in about a week or so back, you know probably about the middle of the week or something next week we'll see if it's coming in the mail yet okay honey that sounds good we'll, we'll figure it out all right hi honey bye-bye uh -huh. Y'all have any questions? Yeah, Globe Life does have a whole life plan, but there's no way she's got a whole life. She's got one of them five-year renewable terms. She's 60 years old, and she's a smoker. She said she's paying $26 a month for 50 k No way. Be impossible. Not a new policy for sure, if for that. Trying to find the original lead because I knew I called it before. Kyle, um, we'll talk about that separately. I got you, buddy. All righty, y'all. Well, does anybody else have any, any more questions? I think I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap this up. Um, because I've got some other stuff I got to do. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this has been helpful and he took some things away, but I'll, I'll leave it up here for a little bit. And if anybody wants to, to ask questions, you're welcome.
Cool, cool, cool. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining. I think this is recorded, so like if you have an agent and you wanna go back and listen to some stuff, I think um, we can get you a copy of this recording and you can do that, so. Oh, we got a question. Oh yeah, I've had people cuss me out for sure. I uh, don't use a block number, no. Sometimes, I mean, actually, I think I have tried it a couple of times and people do answer those because they're so curious of who it is. Uh, plus, with a block number, you can't like call that number back. So it is kind of a cool strategy, but I wouldn't recommend it like as your primary call source. It kind of looks shady. Um, yeah, I've had people cuss me out and whatever. So. Alrighty. Well, y'all have a good night. Thanks for joining. I am uh, logging off.